Hey guys, uh, welcome to the part two of the video where I show you how to uh, clone a voice um, and make the voice sing, of course, with um, the voice cloning software RVC that we downloaded from GitHub, installed on our Unpod and unzipped as we did in the last video. If you did not watch, I do recommend that you watch the first part so you guys understand how we've actually got here. Now, for all of you who watched up till here, and know what's going on let's go a little bit forward and get into the folder and now that we're in the folder we are going to open a terminal and the first thing we are going to do is apt update just to make sure that we have everything up to date now that we have everything up to date all we can do is like apt upgrade see if there's anything upgradable if not we're just going to clear and type pip install slash r requirements .txt, which is going to basically install all the requirements you guys need to run the software now i've already done this but for you guys all you have to do is wait till everything is done there is no error you can possibly run through if you have followed everything in the first that i did in the first video and everything that i did so far which was basically just opening a folder and um, type the, what the commands I typed not very uh, complicated now type clear now that we have installed the requirements.txt we are going to run the infer web if you guys remember in the last video um, please do watch it um, there is a way that we've set our ports in here right we had two ports here that our application is going to run on and of course some uh, some disk space so we can do everything now um, that we've done that we are going to type the following python inferweb.pi and here usually i will give like a port or something but since the application is listening to the ports that we have active we don't actually need to give any parameter or we don't actually need to input anything else but just normal command and as you can see it's already running on this uh, this ip with 7865 however since we are not really running it on our own computer we are going to connect via the pod and we are going to press on connect and since we have this port added right it's going to be very easy to access it and ta -da, this is it this is the rvc web ui it is that simple now uh, let me show you how you actually can train a voice i'm not gonna go how you guys can make a data set i do recommend you watch a video on how you procure your own voice data set it's not that easy it's basically using a software and you have to record your own voice for like 30 40 minutes and then just um separate the vocal from from any kind of background noise and just ta-da that's basically the data set now let's go into the train tab uh here is going to be very simple for me to explain um i've made two folders so the in in the workspace where we have the rvc unzipped uh, software go into it into the main um, main folder you are going to press on to new folder and you are going to create two different folders one is songs and the other one is voice now the voice is going to be where you're going to add your own voice or somebody else's voice that you want to clone um, can be wav or wav and or mp3 files I'd recommend WAV, so WAV files will do much better, WAV, whatever you pronounce this, and uh, it's going to be, I don't know, in my opinion, it's just much better. And for the songs folder, this is going to be empty until you decide what song you want to put a voice on. So for now, let's focus on the train part, right? And let's go and copy the path of this folder. Right click on it, copy path. Go back into the web UI. But without, uh, let me first explain you how the things are going to be here. We are going to use the 40K sample rate. The V2 here we're going to have on true, so the voice can actually sing. And for the number of CPU processes using the, for the pitch extraction data processing, I suggest erasing this to as much as you can, of course, without killing the, the pod. So this should do, for example, 90 is perfect. As for here, we're going to add the experiment name, which is going to be, uh, let's say, my voice in this case right something uh with ease of use now the path for the training folder is going to be 
as we already talked where we have our files in the voice so we've copied the path which we already have the folder don't forget to add a slash before workspace which means entering workspace entering rvc entering voice and everything is set up very simple and we are going to press process data which is going to basically recover all the um, all the voices that we have in here not that hard it's very simple actually and uh, as you can see voice blah 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 all the voice files are being processed and for the next step I mean once you see this end process here that means the process is done which we should see in about maybe yeah there we go and here you don't have to modify anything unless you have like multiple GPUs if you have multiple GPUs on your pod then you can like follow the instruction here and say that you want to use more GPUs right so for example if you had another GPU you would be like 001 which will use the zero the index zero which means the first GPU and the index one the second GPU right and so on for now I don't have more so I'm just gonna leave one one GPU is like index zero and we are going to leave it as RMVP GPU, which is the best option so far. I'm not going to go into detail because these are the old, uh, old ways. And so like this is the best one currently. So we're going to press on the feature extraction. We're going to wait for this to be done as well. It shouldn't take that long, right? Until this uh, is done, I'm going to explain to you what these are. The total training epochs is basically how much the AI will, will iterate or on onto the um, the files that you train you're training the, the AI on basically your voice right in this example and um, I suggest a value of 250 minimum if you want something of quality however since I don't have that much time this uh, um, this video we're not gonna do that but it's gonna do like five epochs and five uh, frequency if you go 250 you're gonna want to make this to 50 so basically you save the the frequency saving for each epoch is gonna be 50 which is the best in my opinion so far after my tests right and as I said for this video I'm gonna do 5 and 5 you guys do 250 plus 350 350 if you want even more quality and depending of course on how much uh, training data you have of your own voice as you can see this has been completed as well and now for the batch size per GPU, this is basically um, our performance controlling. <laughs> so we're going to raise this as well to 40. Since we're running on a pod, we don't really uh, care. It's not our own GPU. <laughs> so it's going to run in the cloud anyway. It's not going to kill it or anything. Um, these you can leave as they are. These you leave as they are because they are like preset. And all we have to do right now is press basically train model and ta-da our model is being trained it's honestly not that hard and you can actually see everything in the terminal from the jupyter notebook and i'm going to show you what it means immediately right now everything is being uh processed like the entire entire thing is being processed and when you are going to see something like epoch one completed that means the epochs the it's it start iterates over the files and the AI is being trained so let us see how long that will take I'm not certain it's right now it's like loading and loading a lot of stuff but um, it shouldn't take that long right all feature done perfect perfect and we have now that every feature was done that means we are gonna run into the first um, error but it's not exactly an error it's just uh, so don't get scared this is just normal stuff that you're going to see and um, yeah there we go epoch one completed as you as you as you see right we're gonna wait for all the epochs to be completed which is um, gonna be done very fast I think since it's like only five epochs I'm not even gonna skip through it you can guys you guys can skip it's gonna be like maybe one minute two minutes maximum something like that so um, three four epochs 
cool. And the fifth epoch, which will follow up right now. And training has been successful. Now remember, if you guys see these things here, it's not an error. It's just some warnings that are basically not affecting you with anything, right? So where are you going to find your voice? Well, guys, that is very simple. Your voice are going to be situated in assets and um, weights. And as you can see, my voice that PTH, which is basically uh, what we set it up to, right? The experiment name. And this is basically our voice right now. We can uh, clone it. Now, um, I already have prepared, uh, like prepared some uh, vocals from the song All of Me by um, John Legend. I'm not gonna play it because it's going to basically, um, well, you know what, I'm not gonna monetize the video anyway because I can, so I guess whatever I can actually play it. Uh, let me find it first. So you can see I've already played around here. So, this is the vocal. And, um, what would I do without your smile? As you can see, it's being played. It's just the vocal, guys. Remember, no background music, right? And now we're going to refresh voice list and index path. We are going to select select my voice that pkh from the list, right? Since it's our own voice. And here I'm going to do something like minus ten, which is I'm not exactly converting, but since John's um, voice may have a different pitch than mine. You have to experiment a little bit with this. And um, yeah, now this is why we've created the um, songs folder because we are going to upload the uh, John voice in here, which is going to take a little bit. Now I'm going to skip through this guy, so I will see you right after. Okay, cool. So now since we have everything um, ready to go, all we need to do is copy the path where we've added the vocal, basically the song, right? The um, Only the vocals of the song, which is again in the songs folder that we've created together. And we are just going to copy paste it here. Don't forget to add a slash in front of the workspace. So we say enter workspace, right? So you don't run into any errors. Please don't forget about this, it's very important. Uh, these you can leave us empty, they don't really matter. Um, as for this, you're gonna leave to our MVP since it's the one that we've trained it on. And again, this voice has been trained on five epochs, which is not enough. It's a very, very low quality voice, but for the sake of this, let's just convert it. And so I can show you guys what this actually means and how it will sound regardless, right? Now, I will have to tell you, it's not going to sound good. So let's go. In a cave, pin you down. What is What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride. As you can see, my voice has been trained on five epochs and it still sounds decent, right? So imagine what you can do if you do with 250, 300 uh, epochs. It's going to be really, really up to you on how much you want to train it and how much you want to wait. But yes, you can get an insanely amount of quality of your own voice or of course, any other voice that you have material of. I don't recommend you use somebody else's voice. I do recommend you keep it safe to use only yours. Well, guys, this is basically all there is about training the voice. Now, if you guys want a video of me showing you how to separate vocals from so from 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 uh, songs and uh, put uh, everything aside and basically prepare a data set, do let me know in the comments and I will do it for you. I'll make the video and show you how you can prepare a data set. For this video, this is pretty much it. Thank you for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one. Hey, by the way, please do subscribe to to my channel so I actually have some more motivation to make this video. So see you guys in the next one.